Hello everyone and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. I'm so glad that you've joined us today. I hope you'll share this out on your social media. Uh, I know that other people will want to hear what is taking place in our world and what the Bible has to say about it and so that you can be rapture ready. That's what this little series on Prophecy Files Briefing is all about. It's talking about, we're talking about the setup for the take up, that is being rapture ready. And these are some rapture ready indicators that I believe are happening, of course, right now. You're seeing it in your news, but the Bible has predicted it thousands of years ago that would take place. And now we're seeing it unveiled right before our very eyes. Let me take you to some of these indicators today. Last week, we talked to you a little bit about the global vacuum of leadership that's taking place and certainly the rise of the coming antichrist on the scene. We're seeing all those indicators, but one of them that probably has been the most prolific, the most profound, and the one that has been in the face of people in recent years is the fact that the pandemic that was global was almost a test case to find out how that people are going to respond, react, to uh, a global dominance and authoritarianism that would take place in our world. And one of the indicators that I'm giving to you today is the absolute trust in almighty government instead of the absolute trust in God. During the pandemic, we saw this in a major way where churches were shut down and the willing compliance of people to be cooperative and to try to be able to help other people not get sick, so forth and so on. But now we're seeing the lies that were behind the pandemic and the COVID outbreak one after another uh, that were called conspiracies and all this kind of thing are now tumbling one after another as the truth is being revealed concerning what was behind the pandemic and uh, what we might indicate as a depopulation of the world. I'll indicate that to you and give you more information about that in a moment. But the government promised during the pandemic to take care of everybody through vaccines or uh, free medications, whatever that it may be. And now after people uh, did not ask any questions, we didn't put up resistance to any great degree, people willingly complied to a certain degree, uh, now these lies are being revealed. What is happening? What took place during that time? Well, it was an altering, I believe, of the state of mind. And this is an indicator toward the coming uh, entrance of the Antichrist and a one world government. Listen to what the Bible says in Revelation 17. It says this about the state of mind of people. These having one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast, that's the Antichrist, these shall make war with the Lamb. Uh, you know, it's going to be an interesting thing that takes place during the tribulation of the reversal. Uh, and we're watching that take place where people don't want God in society. They don't want God in their churches. They don't want God in their lives. During the tribulation, people are literally going to uh, come against the Almighty God in the heavens. You're seeing that set up right now. People that are embracing, as we talked to you last week, about democracy. We want more democracy as if it is going to be the savior of the world. And I want you to know in the time that we're living, God is removed from education, from universities. He's even removed from professing Christian churches and society is being taught how to rise man's nobility and his wisdom and knowledge to the God state, even through uh, AI and all the other things that are taking place. And all of it returns back to the worship of self, which is the very original sin in the beginning that Satan introduced in the garden. As society is realizing now that it cannot, in some cases, uh, they're finding fix the problems of the world as we're seeing the Ukraine and the Russian war that is taking place and everybody's involvement in that, that's when we will see the embracing of this antichrist to deceive the nations into believing that he is the savior. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3 says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them as travailing upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. I will say here in the panhandle of Florida, uh, Alabama uh, area that we've been in in the recent days, one of the uh, indicators, one of the rapture ready indicators for you is what the Bible says would be signs in the heavens signs in the heavens and in the stars. It's not an accident, nor is it something that is unprecedented that there would be signs in the heavens. 
from the moon uh, turning to blood and uh, the sun and the stars and all that's taking place in the heavens. God said in his word that that would take place. In fact, here's what the Bible says. Watch this. It says in the book of Luke chapter 21, verse 25 and 26, there shall be signs in the sun, moon and stars upon the earth. Nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the seas. Huh? Men will faint from terror, uh, apprehensive of what is coming on the world for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Well, what you're seeing on the screen right now is phenomenons over the past several days right here uh, in our vicinity where tornadoes have ravaged all of the southeast from Texas and all throughout uh, the state of Florida. And it's been an unusual event. In fact, just listening to the news forecaster and the weather forecaster last night, he was saying this is unprecedented for us. These words he was using, unprecedented. I've never seen it like this before. I want you to know 50 years ago, David Wilkerson wrote in his book, In the Vision, 1973, that weather forecasters would use the terminologies apocalyptic. Uh, never seen this before. This is completely unprecedented. The same words that they're using right now. As I speak, there is a churning hurricane that is coming off of the coast of Africa, a tropical storm that is headed our way and potentially a hurricane. What's happening in our world? Well, God is shaking everything that can be shaken. But here's what I want to tell you as we conclude today, that you can make sure that the word of God is true. And the Bible says, when you see these signs, look up for your redemption draws nigh. You know, the one thing about it, uh, that when you are seeing these cloud formations and multiple tornadoes as they're spinning up in the Gulf of Mexico, it forces everybody, both saint and sinner alike, to look up into the clouds and see these formations. I want you to know if anything, these signs in the heavens make us look up. And that's what I want you to do today. Make sure you're looking up towards the heavens because I believe that Jesus Christ is coming soon. We'll see you next time right here on Prophecy Files Briefing.